2022, May the 25th. Danny Sluggett makes film, Dean Christie helps me. Let's walk through this Roman gate together, Uncle Dean. Look at all that slate. They use all this slate for the strength. Yeah, this is all for strength. I've heard people say that. Oi, I love you. You are wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Love you to me. What's your name? Of course you can. Thank you. I love you. What are your names? Yeah, what's your name? Joe. Joe, and you like Danny Sluggy Vision? Yes. How you doing? Do you know? Hello, nice to meet you. Do you know that this is the only Roman gate in existence in Great Britain today? Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Lovely to meet you guys. Shine on. Yes. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Danny Sluggett. I make yeah, films. Yeah, yeah. I love you, man. Take, keep shining, guys. I love you all. So, Uncle Dean, are we going through the gate? So, it's nice to get young fans. We want to encourage them to like know about the history and to know about the good things in life. So, having fans is important you're setting a good example to them and they are wonderful they, they shoot me right up so today we have just walked through Balkan gate the only roman gate in existence today and there it is the romans built this arch here in ad 49 to make the foundation of the roman culture stuff to mark the foundation of Roman culture stuff. In AD 60, Boadicea and her followers burnt Colchester to the ground. Following the disaster, the Romans enclosed the town with a stone wall to protect it from further attack. The monumental arch was incorporated into the new West Gate, which gave access to the main road to London. Around 200 years later, the town defences were strengthened against the threat of Saxon raids. During the Middle Ages, the wall gradually ceased to be used for defence, although it was repaired at various times. After the siege of Colchester in 1648, sections of the wall were pulled down and others were built over.